This is M News with Marley Ning. Good morning. Green Party co leaders break silence over shoplifting al- allegations against its Green MP Golosha Ch- Charman. Let's go live now to political reporter Juliet Katie's in Wellington for us this morning. Good morning, Juliet. Another crisis for the 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 Green Party. Julie, another crisis for the Green Party. Now live, so so just so this happened two days before Christmas. And Crew and Davidson were aware of the ins- of the allegation on December twenty seventh, Juliet, so what do we know? And Juliet, is the cost of living going to come down anytime soon? So, Juliet, when is cost of living coming down? And will the national government have to intervene here with the green, the green problem, Juliet? And Juliet, before you go, how is your summer holidays? And will anyone have to help the Greens if they face another problem? Okay, Juliet Jacades, thank you. Firefighters are keeping a close eye on Titahi Bay Blaze after that broke out on when on Thursday night. Let's go live now to Oliver Fox in Titahi Bay. Good morning, Oliver. What happened here? Okay, Oliver Fox. Thank you. Oh, arrest in Potidor after man shot police. A person has been arrested in Potidor after another turned up at a hospital with a gunshot wound. Say, the man was turned up at an unnamed hospital on Thursday. Leads. Officer searched the Potidor address on Friday and arrested a 55-year-old man. Charges are expected to follow. Let's go live now to Harper Scott in our newsroom. Good morning, Harper. What do we know here? Okay. Harper Scott. Thank you. A large fire truck fire on State Highway 1 in Canterbury causes delays. On Friday afternoon, let's bring in Oliver now live. Good morning, Oliver. What can you tell us? What new details that we know? Yeah, so another fire. Now, that deadly stretch of Canterbury Road killed six people in a year. Let's go live now to Oliver Luca Beachy, who joins me in the newsroom. Hi, Luca. Wahato Hatahi wants an investigation onto that stretch of road.
victim. On Friday afternoon, shortly before 2 p.m. So, yeah. Now, man, okay, Luca Beachy, thank you. A man, man charged after five breakings in one night on one street police. A man has been arrested after five properties were burgled in one street in one night. On Monday, residents on the Princess Street in the Auckland suburb of Takanini heard a break in. Here, a 30 year old man was charged with burglary and unlawful interference. He was scheduled to reappear in the Monaco District Court on the 22nd of January 2024. Well, the top favourite students from Riley One include Leo and Lulu. Let's go live now to Lulu. Hi, Lulu. Well done, Leo. I'm not going to say her full name. Well done, Leo, for making it. All the way to the top students in Riley One. Okay, Lulu, thank you. Donald Trump is expected to have more charges hit against him. Let's go live now to US correspondent. Min Bernina and Charlotte King. Good morning, Min Bernina and Charlotte King. Donald Trump will have more charges against him, but will he win this 2024 general election? So, Min and Charlotte, what do we know live? Okay, Min Bernan and Charlie King. Thank you. Firefighters Dry South Island risk the worst it has been in years. Fine emergency New Zealand said temperatures in New Zealand could reach up to thirty degrees today and Hastings Tomorrow is expected to reach up to 33 degrees today, tomorrow, sorry, but Hastings today is at 29 degrees and tomorrow it's 33 degrees. Live now to hop Oliver Fox and Hastings. Good morning Oliver, what's going on here? Okay, Oliver Fox, thank you. We're all looking to get rid of some ads on your phone or your computer. Well, there is a new app this morning that could help you. It's called the Marley app that could help you get rid of your, like, ads that you don't want popping up from M News, which that's me, of course. Popping up from M News that you don't need ads. Wait, like, bring in Harper now. Hi Harper, you've tried this out and it works. So why does it work? Why does it work, Harper? Excuse me, Harper, why does it work? Okay, Harper Scott, thank you. Met Surface is issuing a heat alert for Hastings, which is tomorrow it's going to be reaching up to 33 degrees. Let's go live now to Oliver Fox. Hi, Oliver. What can you tell us and why is Met Surface going to reach up to 33 degrees? 
Okay, Oliver Fox. Thank you. Donald Trump will have more charges late against him. Let's go live now to US correspondent Mim Berner and Charlie King in Tampa Bay, Florida for us this morning. Siri, what's the time in Tampa Bay? Where it is 2.19 p.m. on Friday afternoon. Good afternoon, men and Charlotte. What do we know live? Oops, sorry. Men, Burden, and Charlotte King. What do we know live? Okay, Men, Burden, and Charlotte King. Thank you. Let's go live now to Oliver Fox at Wellington train station. Good morning, Oliver. Powered back up and running after Wednesday's outage on the train network. In Wellington. Okay, Oliver Fox, thank you. In breaking news 7, MP Pox cases confirmed in Auckland. Let's go live now to Lena in Auckland. Hi, Lena. Ha 7 since late December, so what do we know? Police cut. Okay, Lena, thank you. Police ram staff barricades trying to. S police from car. Police car rammed after stuff barricades and stuff during a shop. During themselves in a shop during a raid. Live now to Oliver Fox and Takapuna. Hi, Oliver. This happened to yesterday on Friday morning at about 1.35 in the morning. Very, very early. Okay, Oliver Fox, thank you. In breaking news, a person has been taken into custody after an assault and an Auckland Mc in a, at an Auckland McDonald's restaurant in Auckland in Wesley sh shortly before 8pm on Thursday. Live now to Oliver Fox. Hi, Oliver. What do we... Live, live now to Luca. Hi, Luca. What can you tell us? What's going on here? Okay, Luca, Luca Beatty, thank you. A curious koala has caused havoc for commuters on the in the hospital touring around. And that is your M News update for today, Saturday, the 13th of January. I'll see you tomorrow.